No more newbie here. If you've ever watched a YouTube stream or Twitch stream and seen those scrolling lower third text like on the screen now and thought that looks pretty cool and you want to do it in your videos, while well, I have worked out a way of doing it in Share Factory without the need for a laptop or USB, I haven't seen anyone else do this, so let's get into it. So we're in Share Factory and we go into a new project, choose whichever theme you want going to get rid of all these ticks apart from one and then we're going to push square to start the project so then we've got just this bit here we're going to push the cross button and add screenshots go to solid color and then push square and then we're just going to go on this bit we're going to delete that we only needed it to allow us to make the screenshots so now we've got that we want to push the square and we want to go to settings and then on the settings, we're going to use the hue and we're going to scroll that across till we've got this nice green. OK, so I've got it around 111. And then we're going to go to square again and we're going to go to trim clip. And what we want is this clip to be around four or five seconds. Probably I'm going to put it about five seconds there. And then we're just going to push the square and go to clone clip. And we're going to get uh, do that twice so that we've got three clips in total. So they should all be five seconds ish. And then once we've done that, we're going to go down to add overlay and then we go to text and we're just going to choose whichever font you want. I'm just going to choose this one here and I'm just going to type in whatever the message is that I want to put on there. So for this example, I'm going to put please subscribe to the channel or something like that. You can put whatever you want. Once you've done it and you've typed it in, you can bring it all the way to the bottom. You want it relatively close to the bottom. OK, and once you've pushed the square button to align it a couple of times, so it's right in the middle, then you can push the cross to confirm or you could go into the align button on the settings there. And then once you've done that, you can choose a sticker to put either side if you want to. So I'm just going to do a thumbs up and then I'm just going to add that and we go to transform because we want to change the size of it. OK, so we're going to move it around and we're going to bring it. Now, ideally, you want to be on the on the um, bit where it actually has the please subscribe showing so you can line it up next to it. So you just come out of it, move it along a little bit and then back in. And then we're just going to move that and put it next to there. So we've got that at the beginning. I'm going to put one at the end as well, actually. So I'm going to come into that. You can change the um, length of time that they're on the video for but we can do it all in one at the end so I'm not too worried about that for the moment if you've put in one at the end as well what you can do is actually bring it over the top of the other thumbs up to get it to a similar size and then you know it's roughly the same as each other on the same screen once you've done that and you're happy then we're going to do another message on the middle screen so this one's going to be uh, I think like or comment below and the next one is going to be please like the video so I've got all three done now and that is that bit done. Of course you don't have to have three messages you could just have one or more you could have six seven it does, doesn't really matter you just need to create a new screen for each one you want so once you've done that on the first screen you push the cross button and go to add transition and then on the left hand side we want to go down to wipes and then we go down to push left transition okay and that's what it'll look like it's basically pushing the screen across so we're going to add that to the second one as well so wipes and then push left transition and then once we've done that, we don't need to do it to the last one because that will be we've only got the three messages. OK, and what we want to do is push the uh, cross button and go to edit overlays. And this is where we need to make all of the text and stickers that we've added. We need to make all of those go all the way across the length of the clip. So we push, push the square button, go to sticker duration, and we move the left stick all the way to left, right stick all the way to the right, and we do that for the thumbs, sorry, the thumbs up and all the text on all three screens, and that's going to allow it to be more effective when we do it. Okay, and then when we press play, you'll see it kind of pushes one screen across to the left, and then it does it again for the next screen as well. OK, now you'll see that there's that black stripe down the middle in between the two screens. So what we can do is go across to settings. Uh, actually, no, we go across to edit transition. And then when we're on that, we go to transition settings and the border width. We just bring that all the way down to zero. OK, obviously, you see if you go all the way up, it makes it bigger. Go all the way down, it makes it smaller. OK, what you can actually do is make that a different color as well. So if we go to edit transition, transition settings, and actually you can go down and uh, push square 
and then change the color of the border to the green as well so that is affected from there and you do that obviously on both to make sure that that works as best as it can so that you don't have a black strip going all the way down it okay let's do that for the second one as well so we know that that's done good okay hopefully you're with me so far so let's have a little look see what that looks like if we just push the play button just see what this looks like as a whole and what we're going to do is if this all looks fine and it looks as though it's um, working without any um, glitches or lines going across it then what we can do is look at exporting it so we just push the options button and export to gallery and then share later okay and this is just going to make all of the clips one whole clip again okay so we can save the project and exit okay go into a new project choose whichever theme you want get rid of all of the ticks this time and then go up to most recent and choose our most recent uh, exported clip which is that one continue and there we go it's all one clip now now we're just going to use the split function okay so we're going to play the clip through until the first screen is about to move the moment it's about to move we want to split the clip so we've gone to this point using the d-pad it's just about to move so we push the square button and go to split clip and then we can delete the bit before because we don't need that and then we move the along again using the d-pad until the next one is until that clip comes in and just before it's about to stop okay and then we push the cross button and split the clip again and then we use the d-pad to move all the way across again until that clip starts to move again okay so we keep going until it looks like it's about to move there you go it's just about to move so we go back a bit just before it's about to move we split the clip again and we delete that bit before okay and then we do the same okay so we're just moving across until that's about there you go so that's about to stop okay and then we split the clip there so the aim of this part is to get rid of any text that stood still other than the last clip which we can't do much about but the rest of it should be just continuing continually rolling across the screen and then it will pause for the last clip and then it'll, when we do the next steps it will be continually rolling again okay so we're going to split that last bit and then we just delete the excess so we're just left with the three clips again and it should just roll between them all and then stop on the last bit which is absolutely fine once we've done that we want to push the options button and export to gallery again okay that again is just going to okay share later that's just going to make it one whole clip for us again to use go into new project get down to themes get rid of all the ticks choose in the most recent the uh, clip that we've just exported and continue and we're left with this three second clip where it just rolls like that now it does roll quite fast so we're going to need to slow that down but first of all we're going to duplicate this so that we can have it go in for longer now it's up to you how long you want it to roll across your video for so you can this is where you choose how long you want it to go for really so what we can do is we go across to clone clip and then we do that a couple of times now we can play about with this so there you go we've got four of those which makes 12 seconds but we're actually going to slow this down because i think that goes across the screen quite fast so on each clip we need to push the square button and go to time bender and then go down to half speed on each of those and then we can see what it looks like and it might be that we want to slow it down even more but let's just see how it looks overall for this so we've got those now obviously the more you slow it down the longer it's going to make the clip so you might not need all these clips but again it depends whether you just want it to briefly go across your video there you go that's quite actually quite fast i think we'll slow that down even more so we push the square button and we go down to time bender and we go down to uh quarter speed now okay i think that looks fine you may find it looks sometimes a little bit jumpy i think that's just the joys of share factory i think don't think we're going to get pc quality here okay but at least we've got the option so i've actually here I've, because we had four clips we didn't need it for that long so i've actually got rid of two of them and we've just got this now uh, and if this is pretty much how it's going to look there once you're happy with that that's a 25 second clip you can export it again share later and then that is that part done which is the, the the bulk of the work to be honest okay so then we go into the next step so we go into a new project choose whichever theme we want get rid of all the ticks 
go to most recent and what we want to do I'm just going to show you how to add it to one of your videos now so choose whichever video you want to add it to I'm just going to choose this random clip here so push uh, cross on that and push square okay and then what we want to do this is our clip okay it's just um, various things happening oh, this is actually what I used on a recent video so I'm just going to find wherever I want to add it I'm going to push the cross button to add something and then I'm going to go to add track 2 and then push the cross button and add clip okay then we find the clip that we've just um, made which is that one there now this one's actually a bit longer okay but what you can do is we can move that across so that it's within the clip a little bit which I think that should be yeah that's about right okay then we go to pip layout and we want to make that full screen once you've made that full screen, you can push the triangle button and push the cross button and we want to make it a green screen. Once we've done that, we can come out of it and we can push play and then we can see how that looks on our video. And there you go, that's just scrolling across our screen. We can make that shorter just by splitting it if we want to, wherever we want it to. So we don't have to keep it the whole 25 second clip. We could just um, split it wherever we want to. And now you can just keep that screen wherever you want it to be, um, rename it. And then whenever you want to add it to all your future videos, you just go to that green screen and you can just add it to any of your videos. And it will just encourage people to subscribe, like and comment on your videos. I haven't seen this done anywhere else on YouTube. If you found value from it, please do like the video. Check out the videos that are on screen for more Share Factory tips and tutorials. And do comment below if you found this useful. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And thanks very much for watching. Bye.